Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. Since it's wind season, naturally that means people are going to be running Legendary Sigurd on their dark defenses, because not. And here we are with one of them. Uh, this particular team is okay, definitely has quite a few flaws with it. One of the notable ones is that, of course, Legendary Sigurd is out of range of auto recovery. So, isolation is possible on him, and he is carrying a rally, so we pretty much always have to isolate him. But our game plan is pretty simple here. We, we, I've spent a lot of time calculating options and whatnot. Spent a lot of time and then realized I was computing the wrong scenarios. <laughs> because I was assuming, for some reason, I don't know what I was thinking, that after we bait dual coin with Nino, you know, one of the this knot's probably moving first, and then the second knot's move. And because this knot moves, it's probably going after Peony, who's going to be over here. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter where knot is. She's going to be in range of Nino, which my brain thought that means Legendary Sigurd can go rally, and then he's going to get dance and murder Nino. <laughs> uh, because in order to one shot the guy, we would need 116 attack, factoring in Bright Shrine. And assuming he's not being buffed by Drental Dream, which I believe we can guarantee. But uh, point being, um, we had a scenario where we had to get 116 attack and Nino maxes out 118, so it's feasible for sure. But uh, for our purposes, probably not. We also would have to be in vantage range, and that's. I've been running calcs for a while, and I can't seem to find a scenario that works perfectly for us. I think I might have might have overlooked something, so we might just be able to get it. But yeah, at 51 HP on Nino, which is exact vantage range, uh, we would theoretically be able to survive a shot from Legendary Sigurd. Uh, it is just for reference. We're going to be debuffed, of course, so attack defense catch 4 is maxed out at plus 9 attack. Uh, of course, Hell of Tearfing wouldn't be active if we were in vantage range. And, of course, we're assuming no dual P and E buffs, so he would be at, he would be at ugh, 73 attack. Also, keep in mind uh, that, again, this is the incorrect hypothetical scenario where not would move, he would dance, or he would rally and get dance to attack. So Brave Veronica isn't ranged to buff either. So with that 73 attack, that's 87 against Nino. And then of course Holy Knight Aura gives an extra, what is that, 18? So that's overall 105 basically attack in some sense going into Nino. Now 51 HP, Nino with plus six defense, and then Kaden with plus six defense, Mill with plus two. We get to 105. So you can see that uh, things would totally work out well. <laughs> Um, wait, 107, sorry, because of Caden's ally support if we max it out completely. Something like that. Point being, it would be possible for us to survive. It's just, again, practically I was not able to find a way to actually make it work. Um, which is unfortunate. So, now that we're at, that's out of the way, I realized I was calculating the entirely wrong scenario. I think we're just going to do what we were, we're gonna, what I was initially planning here. I was just going to pivot with Ash and then move Caden here and then just plop Peony over here. We can break this because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. <laughs> if they're going to, if they're gonna get in, uh, they're gonna obliterate Nino anyways, so I feel like we might as well break this. So then that gives us an option to potentially reposition later. But we could also do this, this, and pivot, which I kind of prefer. We might go for that option. Yeah, we also have the option of having Mila in range and having Mila not in range. The advantage of having Mila not in range is that air doesn't get panicked. But honestly, I think we're going to keep the extra stats. It's probably not worth it. Um, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> so let's just go ahead since we're going to do this play um 
Also, because if I understand how the AI works, I believe Triandra should dance not here because she is further away from our units than Duo Peony is. If Duo Peony dances, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> uh, Knot's probably moving here, here, it honestly doesn't matter. She might as well move here. Uh, chances are she's actually just gonna go straight mid. Of course, this Knot's going to move next. Um, can't really move anywhere other than basically the same direction. So, you know, we'll have a line of Knot's, which means Brave Veronica can reach to attack Nino, which is not gonna be the end of the world, except the fact we're gonna get debuffed. Um, and of course the knots are gonna get buffed thanks to the leaf skull Then of course Legendary Sigurd. I actually genuinely don't know who he's targeting. I want to say Kaden But uh, could be air as well. The defense tactic buff might Actually be relevant, but I believe he's probably going after Kaden Because suggest suggests in triangle, but again don't know for sure I guess if we were to debuff air using Panic Manor, then maybe. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he can't reach, and Duo Peony definitely can't reach anyone to dance. So theoretically, we would be in the clear after turn one, not in the clear at the start of turn two. So let's just go ahead and calc how much damage we would take just to do damage calcs on video and burn time for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Uh, so we're planning to have Kaden adjacent to Nino, so it's gonna be seven from him and then two from ally support, two from Mila. Let's just go ahead and have Mila do it. Um, and then speed res far trace brings us down to 56. So against Corin 63, we take seven times two. And then Corin speed 65. We would be at, we're not buffing, we're basically not buffing speed at all. <laughs> uh, not sure if that's a good idea, but three from Ash, five from Kaden, two from Mila, 63, minus eight from Bright Shrine, minus three from Far Trace, 52. So she gets the full seven times two. So overall, I already forgot the first set of numbers. Was it seven times two as well? It might be 28 damage or something. So then we heal back third. Oh, actually, yeah. Maybe we want to take more damage. Because we're going to get healed by air's sparkling boost. Huh. So maybe we want to do something like this instead. But then if we do this, how do we buff? <laughs> uh, I guess we don't need to buff for defense if we're assuming legendary if we're assuming legendary Sigurd isn't going to reach that's such a terrible assumption because <laughs> we're not properly calculating how the AI is going to move so that seems like a terrible idea which is exactly what we're going to do it um uh how can we do this so we would need what the heck I, I will be back <laughs> On second thought, I changed my mind. We're just gonna stick with the original game plan. Screw it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. We're just gonna stick with the original game plan. It's gonna be terrible, but what could possibly go wrong, am I right? Yeah, we're just gonna break the anniversary cake. I, okay, let me think about it. Is there a reason why we would... Nah, I don't think so. Let's just do it. <laughs> Uh, and now the question is where should we put Mila down one or switch places with air and air goes down Not sure honestly Why is there panic? Oh, there's panic manner. I Guess that doesn't matter. Yeah, because legendary Sigurd is gonna move anyways, so My personal opinion says let's keep air where she is and just let's just do this wait why didn't i break this that's just an inaccuracy <laughs> should just always break that out of habit kappa okay do a peony dance so we're in a bad spot now or what the heck is going on here 
<laughs> okay, uh, this is probably winnable, question mark? I would imagine it's probably winnable. Uh, Ash has pretty solid player phase. Question is, how are we taking out this guy? I almost missed out there, that would have been horrible. <laughs> um, I feel like Ash has to attack, but if Ash attacks, then we're not buffing Nino with attack defense link. We could reposition with Kaden, but it really comes down to Mr. Legendary Sigurd here. I think he's going to proc his special as well. So, hmm. I do not object. This does not charge up our special. We proc our special, which is not good. So that means we would want to attack Veronica. I'm not sure what we're planning here. Oh, so the plan would be to have Bonfire to attack Legendary. I see, I see. But then we would have to be able to one-shot him, and I don't think that's going to happen. We can calc it. <laughs> uh, so if we attack with air, I don't think she's going to get any more attack than what she already has. So there's just going to be three times two, which is a whopping three damage to Sigurd. And so he'll be down um, four more. Attack defense catch will be active for plus seven. And then he's got held tear fing for five, 54. No, we can't one shot him. What am I thinking? So the problem is if we don't one shot him, then there's this unit called a duo peony who is in range to attack. Ash. But actually, we would just take no damage. <laughs> right? 49. Wait. Uh, yeah. No. Yes. Yes. We would take no damage. So we basically just need Ash to kill. Which, uh, that's actually non-trivial. Something we should calc for sure. Wait, we have to dance, um, Ash, though. Oh, uh, wait, this doesn't work. I'm overloading dances. We'll be back. We gotta come up with a game plan because we gotta take out Legendary Sigurd 100%. Maybe, actually, he only has 30 speed. Mila could totally double. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, it wouldn't be trivial. Yeah, it wouldn't be trivial. Yeah, we'll be back. We gotta calc some stuff. Alright, so we haven't fully come up with a total play yet, but one of my thoughts is getting Nino into Brazen range. And then we can use Ash to take out this knot. Dance Nino, reposition with Caden, and then I've already calced out that we do take out Legendary Sigur like that because Hallowed Tearfing is no longer active. So, then from there, uh, we, we could utilize uh, the Order's buff and take out Brave Veronica. The problem is Knots is still around, and uh, that doesn't quite work. But I like the idea. I feel it's better than trying to get Ash to take out Legendary Sigurd. We could alternatively have Mila do it as long as Caden is in range and we get some sort of gentle dream thing going, then that is also okay. But again, kind of suspicious. Uh, actually, I just visualized a play in my head, so we'll be right back. All right, so my, oh wait, it doesn't work, does it? <laughs> Wait a second. Um, there's so many order things going around that I'm confusing myself, not gonna lie. Uh, so I was thinking ori originally here to reposition Nino over here. And then we can use Nino to take out Knots. 
then we can dance with Peony from below. That buffs Mila's speed to 28 and then with Caden 37. But unfortunately, Brave Veronica's buffing with Leaf Scalp. <laughs> so uh, we are one speed short from doubling. And I am currently trying to figure out if there's a better way. I guess then we could use Ash to take out Veronica. That seems kind of incorrect by a long shot. But then Nino's also danced, so we could take out one of the knots. I think this is probably close to correct, if not correct. So, which is exactly why we're going to do it right away. <laughs> um, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? We've already calced out that knot. We pick up the kill on knot here. 100% always have to dance this way. As you can see, we're just a tad short. So we can take out this knot as well. I think it's overall winning. Uh, assuming everyone survives. Which I believe that is the case. I could be wrong. But uh, let's do this. Let's do... Actually... We could block. That is true. I bestow my blessing. Problem is, Mila's debuff to 53. I guess we don't care. 49? Yeah, we actually don't care. Caden's also buffing. So maybe we do want to do that. Sure. Do we could do some funneling that way. I kind of like it. We could alternatively take out Duo Peony. That is an interesting option as well. Kind of want to keep Duo Peony around, honestly, though. Also, keep in mind we have Panic Mana on Knot, so Attack Speed Menace actually doesn't help Knot at all. So we could just bait as well. Huh. We actually have a lot more options than I thought we did. But I guess after Duo Sigurd, or Legendary Sigurd attacks, we're just going to take out Knot. Let's keep it simple. And then we can just uh, have Air over here, which is fine. If I did my calcs right, everyone should survive here. So, yeah. Okay, so now we can do some funny things with uh, against Triandra here. Because we have Ash. So we can take out Duo Peony. Like so. Then we can teleport up here. Teleport up here. And we're pretty much set. So, let's start walking around to break some stuff. Seems good. We got all the turns in the world. So, works out for us here. Actually made an inaccuracy. Should have put Peony there, but... Ah, whatever. Um, we could switch with... <laughs> I don't know why exactly we're doing this. This is all for the DM. Totally worth Kappa. Uh, so we can go here, swap out, let's go here, and just advance up here. Almost done, and then we can feed the kill to Peony to farm SP. Uh, we can actually just do it this turn, so let's do it. Worst case scenario, we use- oh, uh, we should have probably gave it to Milla. Milla is actually the one that really enabled us to do this, but yeah. Short video because we cut out hours of planning and calcs on the video. I figured, figured uh, we're too brain dead to properly do it while recording. So we're just not going to bother with that. Um, so at the end of the day, we get the W, which is cool. And uh, yeah, tier 35 means our matchups are only going to get harder out from here on out. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!